Good morning. Hello from the San Francisco Bay Area on July 25th, 2022, Monday at 10 a.m. Pacific time in this open world university and schools news and question and answer. 10 a.m. Pacific, uh, possible for you to ask questions or share your ideas uh, or inquire about free degrees uh, online from home at uh, cc4ocw.mit.edu centric world university and school, first in English, first for a bachelor's degree, and potentially beginning this autumn, September 1st, 2022, or in early January, 2023. The first item of news I'd like to share with you as we wait to see if people will join us in this open question and answer conversation possibility is that World University and School is seeking further to collaborate potentially with uh, Sidwell Friends High School. Thank you, Paul Anderson, for it, George Fox University Professor of Religion uh, outside Portland, Oregon, uh, Quaker Historical uh, College, University, I think. Uh, we'd like to uh, thank you, Paul Anderson, for saying congratulations to Sidwell Friends High School, historically Quaker High School in Washington, D.C., and Scott McLeod. Uh, myself uh, on Twitter at Sidwell Friends at Scott McLeod. Uh, in regard to uh, possible further, as I envision this, uh, inviting Sidwell Friends graduates, alumni to matriculate even as a cohort at World University and School, taking free to students cc4ocw.mit.edu centric courses for free degrees, bachelor and later PhD law, medicine and Ivy High School. So in seeking to collaborate further with Sidwell Friends High School in the DC area, how could we prepare our courseware, our world university and school courseware building on ocw.mit.edu and also the new CC4 licensed uh, CS first with Google at World University and School, a course learning the Scratch programming language, which is a drag and drop block programming language out of the MIT Media Lab, and with which course uh, students might also matriculate into World University and School at this time for free bachelor's degrees. So could World University and School also uh, prepare our courseware on a developing platform uh, combining cc4ocw.mit.edu with CC4 Computer Science CS First with Google at WUAS course. Uh, and in a way that high schools, Sidwell Friends, yes, but also all the high schools in the US uh, presently might find interesting for their students so that high school counselors could point uh, their students to World University and Schools free bachelor's degrees online because the platform, the WUAS platform was up and running and prepared. Uh, this is a work in progress and World University and School is Returning to exploring communication with uh, Bureau for Private Post-Secondary Education, BPPE, in the state of California, uh, an agency that licenses, and some years ago it was a two-year licensing process that worked concurrently with, for example, WASC Senior, Western Association of Schools and Colleges, uh, an independent agency for accreditation, which accredits also Stanford and UC Berkeley and the other University of California's. Uh, and uh, so in seeking this accreditation and licensing process again, BPPE hasn't been active in these regards for the past few years. Um, 
world university for online course online degrees such as what world university and school wants to offer uh, world university and school is seeking to um, make our online free degrees that are based on creative commons for licensed open courseware uh, of value to high schools in all 200 countries um, first in america first in english uh, first to students from other countries um, in english uh, potentially beginning this autumn or in january 2023 and this is um, all coming together it could come together on a new google platform uh, it could come together with reimbursement from uh, states and counties in the US and states and counties in other countries to world university and school per student per year through a possible Google platform. Uh, it could come in combination with uh, states and counties and all 200 countries, uh, even engaging a new cryptocurrency for reimbursement too, to World University and School, such as Stanford MindPy uh, cryptocurrency, which you can begin to uh, mine daily and get free money daily, uh, presently, um, by going to mindpy.com and downloading the app and getting an invitation code from anyone. SGKMAC is an invitation code you could use and uh, beginning to get free money every 24 hours. Uh, so that may be a reimbursement process, part of the process or mechanism too at World University and School uh, for students matriculating uh, for free to students degrees around cc4ocw.mit.edu. So those are the first news items I want to share with you. Um, next, I'd like to um, share uh, that World University and School, so this is sort of the second news item, is planning major online university libraries in 200 countries and in their main languages, and uh, also in all 7,151 languages, and beyond that, the extinct languages as well. And in that process, is seeking to do so in a realistic virtual earth for libraries. So think Google Street View with Time Slider. And excuse me for one second. Let me go offline. So think to Google with uh, Google Street View with Time Slider, Google Maps, Google Earth. Scroll back to the uh, for example, the Library of Congress or the Harvard University libraries in, uh, say, 1870s, uh, pick a book off the shelf um, in this realistic virtual earth for libraries that might be um, a PDF in format, uh, but looking like a digital book on the shelves in one of these libraries virtually in the 1870s and begin to read it right there online as part of a, a university, world university and school university library that would be accessible also for students. Uh, so world university and school is planning major online university libraries in all 200 countries and in their main languages and in all living languages. And at the same time, world universe, the WUAS press is uh, developing as an online publisher, also in 7,151 languages with machine translation, machine learning um, for book publishing to both uh, digital books and potentially in a new format, think, text in the sidebar of Google Street View with Time Slider, with a new digital platform so that one could move into the whole world in the imaging 
uh, part of the Google Street View screen at any time in history and interact with even people, talk with them as a form of history. Um, so this would be a new form of publishing digitally and also to print the paper uh, at the WUAS press from text in the sidebar. Think Google Street View with Time Slider, Maps Earth. So printing to paper books and the imaging would also get printed to paper, but in ways that would be relative to the, the text in the sidebar that got printed to paper. So brand new forms of um, publishing as well in 7,151 known living languages. So this is um, the second news item I'd like to share with you. Check out the Washington Post article um, which this is a re which World University and School has retweeted with regard to World University and Schools plans for major online university libraries. Uh, the Washington Post article is uh, by Pranshu Verma, V E R M A, and it's in a section called Innovations the fight between authors and librarians tearing book live lovers apart. Uh, major publishers are suing the Internet Archive over an online book lending program, but the case has morphed into a bigger debate that could limit the ways libraries lend books online. This is dated July 25th, 2022. So these are timely issues for World University and School in creating online uh, university libraries in all 200 countries and at the same time uh, developing on uh, new forms of online publishing at the WUAS Press. The third item I'd like to share with you is uh, regarding the WUAS Press being an official carrier of three Lego robotics kits. Uh, we do 2.0 and the fairly new Lego Spike Prime Lego Robotics Kit. And the third is Mindstorms EV3, the Mindstorms Lego Robotics Kit. And the idea here is um, in a retweet of uh, John Cleese from Monty Python, a uh, Twitter post of Wonko the Sane with a video of uh, suitcases backed up in Heathrow Airport in London. The question of how uh, could robotics kits help this, this is World University and Schools Twitter post, and the WUAS Corp, the WUAS Educational Services Store, for books and computers and robots, um, and also for World University and Schools Wiki Teaching and Learning of free CC4 OCW.MIT.edu centric bachelor, PhD, law, MD, and international baccalaureate degrees, is very glad to carry officially Lego robotics kits. So this potentially uh, will help uh, open uh, new approaches to dealing with issues like major backups of luggage in Heathrow Airport. Uh, World University and Schools Teaching and Learning of WUAS Home Robotics will potentially facilitate new innovations in the modern world, in the information age world. Uh, regarding uh, such Wonko the Sane blog posts or Twitter posts and regarding World University and Schools, how could robotics kits help? How could WUAS robotics kits help? The fourth item I'd like to share with you um, has to do with uh, current testing of two Toyota Pro Ace 
autonomous vehicles in Norway that might also be electric vehicles. And an article from the Silicon Republic. Uh, and the, the question of how could two Toyota Pro Ace autonomous vehicles work together to pull even one of the Toa, Toyota Pro Aces out of a snowbank if it got caught in a snowbank, or to tow one of the Toyota Pro Aces in deep snow in the Arctic with machine learning. How will Toyota engineers and Norwegian Toyota engineers code for this for all contingencies? And the WUAS Press, the WUAS Educational Services stores for robotics and books and computers, both physical and digital, will seek to um, or would like to also explore how one could connect two or, or five even, like a train of these Toyota Pro Ace autonomous vehicles together for delivering books and computers and robots and robotics parts, such as the three WUS LEGO robotics kits. And could furthermore, um, either two or five of these Toyota Pro Ace autonomous vehicles in Norway also be driven by or um, uh, facilitated by humanoid robots. So such as the THR3, the Toyota uh, Human Robot 3, uh, might be one way to interpret that acronym. The THR3 is a Toyota humanoid robot um, that might well be uh, coded for and designed to uh, be part of the new Toyota Pro Ace autonomous vehicles, which um, may become available in the USA on mass in 2023 or 2024, possibly. World University and School is interested in exploring how uh, we could potentially work with humanoid robots and the Toyota Pro Ace autonomous vehicles, Toyota Pro Ace electrics um, for our WS Corporation stores. And uh, lastly, um, I'd like to share with you uh, World University in Seoul. So this is sort of the fifth item. Um, uh, potentially uh, uh, an 11th model organism adding uh, an 11th model organism or species in the WUAS Longevity Genetics Institute, uh, which is going to be part of the World University and School Academic Medical Center, possibly with a warm water cure, that would be on a physical site, newly. World University and School doesn't have a physical site yet. So in what ways could World University and School um, add, for example, the Hydra species, which may be uh, long lived in very interesting ways regarding um, longevity genetics and even aging reversal genetics, and also for physical digital experiments uh, that would be in a realistic virtual earth for genetics. So think Google Street View uh, with Time Slider, Google Maps Earth, where the little Pegman avatar bot in Google Street View would grow and become a Hydra um, digitally with a, as a digital twin even of a physical biological Hydra. So the 10 species world university and school is exploring, um, carrying or 
working with initially uh, the, our human, dog, mouse, chicken, honeybee, and drosophila fly, drosophila fly fruit flies, as well as frogs, zebra fish, yeast, a single celled organism, and C. elegans, a one millimeter worm with 302 neurons and that lives, a, which make up its brain or its uh, nervous system, it lives a relatively short time, uh, possibly a couple of weeks. Um, we'd like to make these all digital and experiment in doubling their lives. Can we double the humans' lives to uh, 244 from 122 years of age? Longest documented living human, Jean Calment in France. Uh, can we double uh, each of these species' lives? What genes, per George Church, Harvard professor of genetics, would we add back into the um, uh, biological organisms? And how would we do this virtually or digitally? So in these regards, the uh, World University and School is interested in creating genomes, digital genomes of each of these 11 species. And I uh, recently came across an article uh, and a video, a YouTube video from YouTube from 2019. Uh, the article in the Google blog, in the Google Cloud blog is real-time diagnostics from nanopore DNA sequencers on Google Cloud. It's the title of the article. I've tweeted, I've tweeted this also on world at W-O-R-L-D-U-N-I-V-A-N-D-S-C-H. So this lays out in the video as well, a whole series of programs which were used to uh, create the genome for microscopic species uh, digitally and potentially add this to the Google Cloud. This is great and fascinating. So this is a way, in, in, in a very quick way, uh, so this is a, potentially a new way to add the genome from DNA samples from biological species to Google Cloud, even Google Street View with Time Slider. And in that process, um, World University and School would like to extrapolate from this genome that becomes digitized of these 11 species to even avatar bots of humans and dogs and mice and C. elegans and hydra, and then possibly explore genetic editing on the digital side of these, of the genomes for these species and for aging reversal and longevity genetics. Could one, for example, take a sample of a, one of these species when they're in their adolescence for humans or um, in their growth phase become, before they become fully mature uh, and find what their, uh, what the uh, genome for a juvenile of any of these species is and convert it to ones and zeros digitally. Uh, and then take a similar sequence for an adult of any of these 11 species. And uh, in the digital process, begin to see how one could 
in the case of aging reversal genetics, go from the adult samples genome digitized back to the juvenile uh, sample of the same species digitized. And then all that on the digital side, see what one would need to do, one would what one would need to do to add um, uh, such sequences of potential aging reversal genetics digitized uh, back into the species, one of these 11 species, to age reverse them. This is the hypothesis. This is the idea, these are the implicit in all of this are many hypotheses in physical digital experiments with this new approach to genome sequencing. Check out the, the article, its title again is Real-Time Diagnostics from Nanopore DNA Sequencers on Google Cloud. And World University and School would like to do this potentially in a realistic virtual earth for genetics in one realistic virtual earth. I uh, think Google Street View with Time Slider, and at the cellular and molecular levels, in addition to the Street View levels. So that's the news and question and answer today. I'll post this video to um, youtube.com forward slash W-O-R-L-D, U-N-I-V, A-N-D, S-C-H. I, World University and Schools Twitter, dot com forward slash w o r l d u n i v a n d s c h is very active so is the w u a s press uh twitter.com forward slash w u a s p r e s s and uh till next monday potentially which is the first monday of august uh see you then uh, meeting at worlduniversityandschool.org is the email address. Worlduniversityandschool.org is uh, the website address for World University and School. If you have questions or would like to matriculate um, for free degrees or wiki teach at World University and School, check out our wikis on that worlduniversityandschool.org uh, main homepage and feel free to edit a page, teach to it, teach to YouTube and add it to a wiki subject page at World University and School. I'm Scott McLeod. It's Monday 25th, July 25th, 2022. Uh, Worlduniversityandschool.org uh, is seeking students for this autumn or January 2023. We're free to students, cc4ocw.mit.edu centric degrees, potentially building newly on CS First with Google at WUS as well. Until next time, bye for now. <laughs>